It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. On the sidelines, Ali LaForce. A look at Indiana's starting group. Neesmith and Siakam on forwards. Caliber and Emhart, the one and the two. And it's Turner in at the center. And for Los Angeles, Harden runs point with man at the two. Kawhi and Zubox make up the front court. And it's Jones in at small forward. And Clark, for these two teams, a lot of their action runs through the front court. You're exactly right, B.A., and I think that's where the game's going to ultimately be decided. I mean, we, go. we have to see which set of these bigs is going to impose their will, not just offensively, but defensively, too. Halliburton, the pass to Siakam. Turner, a screen on Leonard. It's stolen by Leonard! Pass to Jones. Now here's Zubac. Shot clock at five. He shoots it. Shot by Leonard, no good. Indiana on offense. Down low. Kawhi Leonard comes up with a rebound. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim. That's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. And the basket is good. Yeah, that barrel-chestedness of Harden. So much strength and body control. It's hard to stop him from scoring. Halliburton, the pass to Turner. Back to Halliburton. Nimhart outside. It's deflected, and it's out of bounds to Indiana. Indiana ball. First minute and a half of basketball played here in this one, and the basket by Halliburton. Harden with it. Outside Jones. Leonard looking over the floor. Driving to the basket. Pass to Zubac. With a nine-footer. Shoots over Turner. Zubac's shot is off. The Pacers have gone one for three so far. And they blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance at another one at the strike. First pretty play by Siakam. Absorbs the foul and still gets his shot to go. And one thing that Siakam has always had a knack for, Grant, cutting to the rim and finishing plays. Yeah, he plays so well when he has space to move. He's just great off the ball, and that fits with any team. His ability to convert at the rim makes his cuts that much better. Seven and a half seasons of Pascal Siakam's career were in Toronto. But Clark, a fresh start here with the Pacers. You know, it's great for the Indiana Pacers because Pascal Siakam wanted to be part of this group. He saw a nucleus of young talent that had a chance to be competitive in the East and chase the championship. So he signed a nice big contract this summer to remain a key contributor for them moving forward. Actually, he'll be the hub of the wheel along with Tyrese Halliburton. Halliburton for three. Rebound by the Clippers. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Outside man. Pass to Harden. Launches it. Drills it from deep. Harden's got five points. Harden skilled off the dribble, off the catch. He can flat out score. Here's Halliburton. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Zubac. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. A defensive play like that early in the game can go a long way. Establishes an attitude that you want to have during the game. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. 
There's a screen by Turner. Here's Halliburton. Indiana again missing. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. Jones, the pass to man, to the inside. Here's Leonard. Siakam pulls down the board. Well, that's a look. He has to finish it. He knows it. Blown opportunity. It's rebounded by Zubats. The Clippers have gone two of six to open up this game. Here's Leonard. Well placed jumper from the free throw line. I like Leonard's shot right there. He's very comfortable from that distance. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Tyron Lue gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. I asked him if there was a plan in place to slow down Halliburton. And Coach joked, hey, if a plan existed, somebody smarter than me would have come up with it. Tyrese impacts the game in too many ways for us to neutralize. We just need to do what we can to make life difficult for him. Thanks for that, Allie. Siakam, no good. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Now here's Harden. He's got five. Outside Jones. The three is up. Indiana with a rebound. High post Siakam. And Siakam oh, with the Siakam. slam. Oh, coming in hot. There was just no getting in Siakam's way there. Harden, the pass to man. Leonard outside. Watch the screen. To the middle. Here's Zubox. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. And it's Rick Carlisle calling time out here. I think right now he must be looking at some adjustments. Siakam. He's got five. Outside Neesmith. Here's Turner. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. It's going to be on Ivica Zubac. Man, excellent patience from Turner close to the basket there. I mean, forced the defense to get a little handsy with him in the paint. It's his first trip to the line. one falls for him and you know because Turner is such a good free throw shooter for his position defenses really can't send him to the line too often he'll make them pay and so Turner nails them both it's so interesting Grant younger fans may not realize the Clippers had a lot of rough seasons early on well you know B.A. that's one way to put it <laughs> you know in their first 27 years in L.A. they only made the playoffs four times but things have definitely changed owners have changed and now they're playing season regulars in the league the B.A. when he gets the rim in his sights it's tough to stop so aggressive and a determined finisher nice and guys, I like the fact that he chose the one hand yeah, tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. Now here's Harden. Five points in the game. Puts it up from 12. Indiana with a rebound. Turner's got his fourth rebound in this one. Siakam against Leonard. Pass to Halliburton. Shot clock at six. Again, Indiana. Oh, Halliburton needs is a little dancing room. Once the screen provides that, he's ready to roll. 
Halliburton against Harden. Here's the three. Gets the three to fall. Harden's got eight. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Halliburton against Harden. Siakam with a screen on Harden. Halliburton outside. Pass to Turner. Offensive board. Siakam for three. Another miss for him. He's two for six. For Los Angeles, they've got half their attempts to go. Six of 12. Back to Harden. Zubats with a screen on Halliburton. Shot is good. Off the back rim and in. Ten points for him. Man, it's fun watching Harden use the pick and roll to his advantage. Getting space off the screen and letting it fly with ease. And we'll have a timeout here called by Rick Carlisle. He wants to make sure everybody's on the same page. All right, everyone. Let's give a big hand for your Clippers Breakers. Now he's checked in for Leonard. The Pacers also with a sub. McConnell, he's checked in for Tyrese Halliburton. Indiana has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Siakam, left side. Back to McConnell. Pass to Turner. That one's good. On the assist from McConnell. Tossing around that 250 LBs. Turner going right through the contact. Powell outside. Back to Harden. And Turner with the block. McConnell against Harden. Pass to Siakam. The three hits the trifecta. And now a three-point Indiana lead. Watch out now, when this guy kicks into a rhythm, it is something to behold. On the wing, Hart. He's marked by McConnell. Here's Jones, and it's going to be a three-second call. Indiana. For the Clippers, Bob has checked in for Zubats. Batum comes in for Jones, and it's Porter Jr. in for Mann. Pacers leading by three. McConnell passes to Siakam. McConnell against Porter. Jackson with a screen on Porter. To the paint. And the dunk by Jackson. And this guy, to me, embodies determination. Small at his position, but he still gets up and keeps plays alive. That's mine over matter for sure. Harden, the pass to Bamba. Left side Porter. Powell outside. Over Matherin. Got a piece of it. Yeah, a long and lanky guard at 6-7. Matherin can be a problem defender in this league. Here's Shepard. What Clark talking about, Benedict Matherin. He's another great young Canadian player. Yeah, they've got a ton of them coming from north of the border, PA. I mean, Matherin, you got R.J. Barrett, SGA, Shea Gilgis, Alexander. I mean, at this point, you could probably fill a couple of rosters with uh, high-level players that come from Canada. The officials were right on top of that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give them any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Pacers. Well, hey, guys, I mean, can we talk about how unselfish they've been just racking up the assist numbers, moving it around with great precision? 
And, you know, in no time at all, they've also started finding points inside, already taking apart that interior defense. No good on that one. And the Pacers started last season all offense, Grant. But even they knew that would not be sustainable. Yeah, Coach Carlisle prodded them to at least get to average on the defensive end. And there's no question they have the tools to do it. Brown, he's checked in for Indiana. And he's good on the second. Clippers trail by four. Here's Harden. Ten points for him. Here's Batum. And the three off target. Porter against McConnell. Inside. And stolen by Bamba. Two minutes remaining in the first. On the wing, Porter. He's marked by McConnell. Porter shot is off. And so it's Brown with it. He brings it up for Indiana. To the paint. Here's Jackson. That shot off. Some solid defense from Bamba. Porter finds Harden. Pulls it. And the Clippers miss again. All alone from mid-range. you got to think he's kicking himself. Down low. And Brown with the stuff. Yeah, we talk about Siakam's versatility. Well, there it is. <laughs> nice pass. Los Angeles has gone two for four from range to start things off. Harden against Brown. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. That's his first personal foul. Los Angeles shooting their first free throw of the game here. And the Clippers making a change here. Leonard's checked in. Toppin, he's checked in for Indiana. Tyrese Halliburton comes in for Brown. Free throw off the mark from Harden. The scoring ability Harden brings is unique and next level. Well, there's no question. Pascal Siakam has raised the ceiling of this Pacers team. Yeah, absolutely. He complements Halliburton's up-tempo style very well. And defensively, he shores things up with his ability to guard one through five. You know, the defense has to be better. I mean, you can't give up that look. Clippers trail by six. Bamba up top. 43 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Harden. It's hauled in by McConnell. Well, the Pacers shooting with confidence in this one. 48% in the first quarter. Good work there as he goes. And it's an eight-point Indiana lead. High percentage play. He's excellent around the rim. Harden against Halliburton. Here's Harden. That one drops four. Harden's got 14 points for the game. If the defense doesn't slow Harden down, he's going to continue to pile it on. Halliburton looking over the floor. Three-pointer. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And so it's Indiana leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. Back to the game after this break. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And guys, what's your take on Indiana so far? Well, it's simple. When you can dominate the boards at both ends, you can control the second chance touches. And you know, their rebounding advantage has been glaring, simply outworking them on the boards for that entire first quarter. Clippers trail by six. On the floor for Indiana. 
Benedict Matherin is out there with Toppin. Then there's Isaiah Jackson. Then there's T.J. McConnell. And it's Halliburton in at the shooting guard. Leonard. So good near the hoop. Leonard. Skilled at getting inside and doing work down there. Kawhi Leonard is a confidence score. Jackson outside. Pass to Halliburton. Leonard against Matherin. Six on the shot clock. Back to Halliburton. A deep three. It's rebounded by Los Angeles. Now here's Batum. No made baskets yet. Porter looks it over. Back to Leonard. To the middle. Rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got four rebounds now. Matherin passes to Halliburton. Look at Halliburton converting through contact. That shot by Halliburton, not easy. Taking the hit and still finishing the play. Second quarter of basketball. Just over a minute and a half played so far. Here's Porter. Goes up and lays it in. Nice and easy. Porter's got his first basket. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Jackson against Bamba. Here's Halliburton. The rebound by Bamba. Clippers trail by four. To the inside. Outside Porter. Leonard outside. Screen by Bamba. 4-3. Leonard beyond the line. Leonard scores at all three levels. He's a threat anywhere on the floor. Jackson outside. Pass to Halliburton. Shoots. Yes. And a nice assist from Jackson. Halliburton's got eight. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Well, guys, a lot of new developments for the Clippers this season, and obviously they have the new arena, new designs for their logo, jerseys, and court. Not only that, their G League team moving to a brand new arena in Oceanside, renewing the San Diego Clippers moniker. Ryan, a lot to be excited about for this Clips team. No question. Good stuff, Allie. Thank you. Here's Jackson. The Clippers getting their last shot to go. Pass to Halliburton. The body control of Halliburton. Tough. All right, guys, we're lucky to have Shams Charania joining us now. Our 2K insider calling in with a story. What do you got, Shams? Thanks. Many consider this summer to be the most challenging field in the history of international basketball. Nevertheless, Team USA got it done in Paris. It's not getting any easier, but the star power of the U.S. men's team shines bright in the city of lights. Guys, a classic ending for a stacked U.S. roster. What a performance. Shams Charania with the report. Thanks, Shams. And here's Indiana now, following the score by the Clippers. Halliburton for three. Another miss by Halliburton. The Clippers have gotten five of their first six attempts to fall in the second. McConnell against Porter. Pass to Leonard. And that misses. That would have put him up. Halliburton outside. Here's McConnell. He's guarded by Porter. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Indiana shooting their sixth and seventh free throw shots in the game. And that one falls for McConnell. Some changes for Los Angeles. Zubats comes in for Bamba. And it's Mann in for Batum. Miles Turner, he's checked in for Indiana. Nimhart comes in for Matherin. And 
so McConnell nails them both. Here's Porter. Zubox with a screen on McConnell. Porter against McConnell. Clock at six. Porter finds Zubox. Leonard for three. Leonard can't get that one to fall. Pacers leading by three. Turner can always wow you with a highlight play. But Clark, he's gotten better at the small things as well. Yeah, I agree with you 100% there. He can shoot the three. He's always been an elite shot blocker from the day he stepped foot in the NBA. An excellent screener. But he has added small pieces to his total game in the little area. Here's Porter. Back to the basket by Indiana on the other end. Pass to Leonard. Back to Porter. Zubac, screen. Tries it from the top of the key. Porter gets the bucket. Right on the money. Porter Jr. wanting to make an impact and a statement from the mid-range. They set the pick. Back to Halliburton. Shoots over Powell. Oh, great D that time from Powell. Porter against McConnell. Leonard outside. easy trying to guard Leonard inside. I can tell you that, guys. I mean, he's so good at using his body to get shots up over the defense. Here's Nimhart. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And you think about the value Andrew Nimhart provides. Clark, he really excels at running the offense. He's the quintessential point guard, B.A. Has a great feel for setting up his teammates for what they're trying to get done. Plays with tremendous pace and great, great confidence. Typically doesn't over dribble and is unafraid of any moment. And he can't get the first one. Jones, he's checked in for the Clippers. James Harden comes in for Porter Jr. Siakam, he's checked in for Indiana. Neesmith comes in for McConnell. Sinks the second. The Clippers have gotten seven of ten attempts to drop in the second quarter. And timeout called by Ty Lu. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Leonard finds Jones. Halliburton against Harden. Five to shoot. misses the Pacers have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second pass to Halliburton Nimhard with it fires the three Jones grabs the board and so it's Jones who brings up the ball for Los Angeles trailing by two now Zubats. Jones, the pass to Harden. Back to Jones. From behind the arc. It's rebounded by Indiana. High post Siakam. Give him eight. Launches a three. Nimhart. Good. Nimhart's got four points now in the quarter. 
could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Hart, the pass to Zubac. Pass to Leonard. Double team on Leonard. Outside Jones. Back to Leonard. Zubac with a screen on Siakam. Leonard way outside. And once again, off the mark by Los Angeles. Here's Turner. Nimhart outside. Let's it go from deep. Turner, no good. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Double team on Leonard. Outside band. Pass to Harden. And here's Zubats. Now here's Jones. Here's Leonard. Has snapped the cold streak. A rebound by Turner. Turner's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Now here's Neesmith, defended by Jones. Nimhart outside. Knocks it down from distance. Nimhart's got seven points. Halliburton all about getting his teammates open looks. Does such a great job with his unselfishness making the pass. And timeout called by Ty Lu. We might see him looking to make some tweaks to the strategy here. All right, folks. If you want a T-shirt, come on. He's checked in for Los Angeles. And the Pacers also making a change. Matherin's checked in. Pass to Harden. And here's Zubats. Turner covers. Zubats passes to Harden. Four on the clock. Bucket again. Seven for 12 and going at the defense. Defense has problems with Harden inside. He can make those close shots appear easy. Nimhart outside. Siakam draws the double. Here's Nimhart. Off target with the three. Clippers trail by six. Harden with it. Siakam covering. Down low. Ball stolen. Now the Pacers on the move. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. He's got ten. Yeah, sometimes I think the 6'9 length of Siakam surprises opponents. He's able to go through or over contact. Now here's Harden. He's got 16. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. That's a costly error. Well, let's see how they bounce back. Well, you know what? Their wounds are self-inflicted. I mean... You've got to play much smarter than that. Pacers leading by eight. And there's a minute 45 left in the first half. Pass to Siakam. There's Neesmith with a three. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Siakam. Siakam's got three assists now in this one. Harden, the pass to Zubac. Outside Harden. Oh, and Turner with a block. There's the defensive presence they want from Turner. Hustling and using his mobility to send it back. Three-pointer, Harden. Matherin with a rebound. For Indiana, they've gone 8 of 15 in the second. 56 seconds left in the first half. Can't get a second shot to fall. Now one of two. Inside. Stolen by Siakam. It's Matherin with a drive. Tipped! And so it's Harden with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. 11-point game. Pass to Zubats. Matherin brings the double team. 
It's Powell on the wing. Connect from downtown. Powell's got five points. Norman Powell. Pacers leading by eight. Siakam with it. He's got ten. some space and parries the jumper. 12 points for him. Pick works well there, but the defense has a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the deep, tougher defense. Tyrese Halliburton getting it done for Indiana. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Well, I'm here with Coach Rick Carlisle. A hot start. Coach, what did you like about this team's execution offensively? Uh, we were making some shots. Uh, we moved the ball well at times. You've got to be careful about having the ball stick when they're doing their switching. Good luck with the ball movement in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. Please, please direct your attention to center court and get ready for the fan half court shot. Drums, please. They're thinking about the shot. Give it up for the participants. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. Nice game. What a performance by James Harden. Yeah, tonight he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. Harden runs point with man at the two. Kawhi and Zubats make up the front court. And it's Jones in at the three. That's the group starting the second half for Ty Lue. And Subots with the basket. Called the assist by Leonard. Leonard's got three assists in the game. Indiana leading by eight. Obviously, everyone knows about the defense of Kawhi Leonard. But Grant, his shooting is overlooked. Yeah, you know, he's at about 40% from three for his career. You combine that with his wing defense, you get a one-of-one -one player capable of carrying a team. Now here's Jones. Outside Harden. Pass to man. Here's Leonard. Puts up a three. And it's Tyrese Halliburton with a rebound. To the middle. The dive for the ball. Here's Nimhart. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Siakam. Siakam's got four assists in the game. Second half of basketball. Just over a minute played so far. Surveying the D. All sorts of time. Indiana with a rebound. Turner's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Here's Halliburton. And it's Halliburton. Tyrese. Gets Halliburton. it to go inside. Tyrese Halliburton, take a bow, young fella. You deserve it. You have been outstanding. Third quarter here. Over a minute and a half into it. Here's Harden. Soft touch off the glass. Harden's got 18. Strong performance from him, but he may need to do even more if they're going to win this game. To the paint. Nice shot by Turner. And the Pacers lead by 12. I tell you what, Turner just has a beautiful touch down on the block. I mean, you get the ball where he wants it, he'll deliver for you. Back to Leonard. Here's the teardrop. Double team on Leonard. Leonard, so strong. You know, a little bit of contact will not 
bother Leonard at all. I mean, he's so strong as a player, it's part of the deal for him. Siakam with a screen on Harden. Halliburton for three. Jones grabs the board. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. We know Kawhi Leonard is a former Finals MVP. Jimmy Butler said, there are guys that are like, quote, I'm going to find the best way to win. In a seven-game series, I'm going to get the best of you in the end. Kawhi's definitely up there. Whatever he's got to do, he is going to find a way. And Brian Butler would know a thing or two about that, wouldn't he? Yeah, you know that. No question about his abilities. Three-pointer, Harden sends it home from three-point land. Harden's got 21. Every opportunity he gets, Harden will take that. He's very efficient from range. Nim hard left side. Pass to Neesmith. Turner, a screen on Harden. Six to shoot. Here's Halliburton. Deflected! Outside man. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Fires from deep. And Los Angeles, another three. They're doing the job on both ends, getting stops and attacking offensively. And, you know, it's taken a big run, but they were able to get back into this one. Very impressive. No quit in these guys. Now here's Neesmith. He has six. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's on Derek Jones. Hey, you can't block it. Sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup. Give them a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. The first one falls. So he goes one out of two at the line. Clippers trail by five. Harden, the pass to Zubats. Leonard against Siakam. Back to Zubats. Leonard on the wing. Shoots over Siakam. Excellent D there from Siakam. Good contest. Can't let him have open shots from mid-range. misses again and so it's Harden with it he brings it up for Los Angeles trailing by five Zubac with a screen on Siakam here's Jones oh and there's the whistle on the shot so two free throws for him coming up one thing that always stands out Clark the way Derek Jones Jr. can levitate off the floor yeah he's got tremendous bounce and you're right he can just suspend himself in the air which is unique and it allows him to be a, an excellent defender because he, he can be five feet away from a guy and still bother him with his bounce and his length. And he's also become a pretty good corner pocket three-point shooter, too. The first free throw is good. Nimhard. He's got nine. Pass to Halliburton. Back to Nimhard. From downtown. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. Halliburton's got three assists in the game. And Ty Lue has called a timeout. 
He's going to talk it over with his guys. Hey, Clark, a big part of Tyrese Halliburton's effectiveness, he is tall for a point guard. Yeah, and you see that across the league, Brian. More and more teams making sure they get size on the perimeter. I mean, they're looking for it's length in the backcourt. If you can find it in your point guard, it's even better. And Tyrese Halliburton, a poster guard for long, elite-level point guards. And Los Angeles making a change here. Powell's checked in. And the Pacers also making a change. Benedict Matherin, he's checked in for Neesmith. Now here's Powell. He's guarded by Nimhart. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Indiana leading by six. Halliburton up top, defended by Harden. Halliburton, the pass to Siakam. There's a screen by Turner. Down to five on the shot clock. It's stolen by Leonard. On the break. Ooh, a clear look for Powell. And once again, off the mark by Los Angeles. The Pacers have gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. A nice shot by Halliburton. As fast as lightning, Halliburton gets it and shoots it in a matter of nanoseconds. Outside band. Pass to Leonard. With the fadeaway. And they recover it. His man. It's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. Man's got his first three points of the game. That time you saw how Leonard surveyed the floor and found the guy with the best look. Harden against Halliburton. Here's Matherin. And he banks in the layup. Matherin's got his second basket of the game. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10. Right at it. Get to the rack. Pass to man. Down low. Here's Leonard. That shot off the mark. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. Halliburton up top. Kicks it out to Siakam. Over Harden. Siakam, no good. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his no, resolve here. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Pacers leading by five. Nimhart outside. Pass to Matherin. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Yeah, this is how impactful Matherin can be in close. He loves jamming it home. Time out, time out. And Quick time out called by Ty Lu. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players. Boy, you got to like what Tyrese Halliburton has done in this game. Yeah, this guy is torching them. And so far, their defense hasn't responded. Let's give a round of applause for your Clippers. So for the Clippers, Bamba's checked in for Zubats. And Batum is subbed in for Leonard. Jackson, he's checked in for Indiana. McConnell comes in for Halliburton. Here's Mann. Here's Powell. Mann, the pass to Harden. Bamba, a screen on McConnell. Shot clock at six. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. And he's able to get it back. Great open look there. Batum's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. The outside stroke of Batum, too nice. Knocks him down in bunches. Pass to McConnell. Back to Siakam from deep three-point land. It's rebounded by Los Angeles. Man's got rebound number five here tonight. Screen by Bamba. Harden against McConnell. And Harden gets the double team. Bamba up top. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. For three, Powell. See Occam with the defensive effort. Just enough of a shot contest to bother him. Matherin finds McConnell. Back to Matherin. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. 
Batum, pass to Harden. Bamba with it. Pass to Harden. Outside man. To the inside. Oh, got a piece of it. And stolen by McConnell. Powell against Matherin. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Matherin's got eight. Great body control allows Matherin to finish through contact. Outside Harden. Jacks up a three. Knocks down the long day. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Now here's McConnell. Shoots a fadeaway. Boy, clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. 14 points for him. You know, next time he has that much space, he should just go straight up with it and leave the fadeaway at home. Park that fadeaway. Take the shot that's available. And that's a foul called on T.J. McConnell. That's his first foul. Porter Jr., he's checked in for man. Substitution on the court. Porter. Pass to Harden. Six on the shot clock. He had his back to the basket for over five seconds. That'll be a turnover. And Los Angeles making a change here. Tucker's checked in. Shepard, he's checked in for Indiana. Pacers leading by five. Outside Matherin. 11 left in the third quarter and he recovers it Jackson with a screen on Porter and it's McConnell on the drive pass to Shepard here's Siakam and Tucker pulls it down and for Los Angeles they're shooting 47% during this third quarter Porter finds Harden shoots over Siakam and it's Harden that time on the assist by Porter Harden's got 29 points. Indiana has gone one of four here in the third from range. Pass to Shepard. Siakam looking it over. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Siakam's got 16 points now. A long swing player. Siakam uses that 6'9 length down low. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Outside Harden. No good from outside. Siakam, pass to McConnell. Back to Siakam. It's good! It's good at the buzzer! Wow! Makes his selection just in time. Well done. What was really impressive there, though, guys, was that he could have rushed it and panicked, and yet he kept his cool and splashed it. And so it's the Indiana Pacers closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead, and they push the tempo in this one, getting out in transition and making the defense pay. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. That's right. I mean, that's not his primary duty, but when the situation calls for it, he can do it and does it well. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. A look at the five for the Pacers to start the fourth quarter. They've got Benedict Matherin. T.J. McConnell is out there with Tyrese Halliburton. Then it's Obi Toppin, and it's Jackson in at the center position. Now here's Toppin. Back to McConnell. Pass to Halliburton. Here's Matherin. Can't get it to drop. Good work defensively by Leonard. Clippers trail by seven. Powell passes to Leonard. 
counted from distance. Well, getting rid of it in a hurry. Nice quick release that time. Jackson outside. Pass to Halliburton. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's on Norman Powell. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Pacers. I mean, they've played some beautiful basketball all game. The passing has been impressive, and it's opened up things with their ball movement. They've also found a lot of shots at the arc in this one and allowing their good shooters to tee it up. He's off on the first. Clark, we hear a lot of talk about Halliburton's Supreme Court vision. Just how good is it? I think it's phenomenal, B.A. Uh, to be the facilitator that he is, um, you've got to have an understanding of what you're trying to run, but also a feel for how to get people shots and to adjust on the fly to what the defense is providing. And it's feel as much as it is skill. Feeling where defenders are. Feeling where your teammates are or might be. And that is a gift. And he's honed that in a way that's made him one of the top dime droppers in the league. Now here's Leonard. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. And he stays with it. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Indiana leading by five. And here's Halliburton. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. On the take. McConnell outside. From the arc. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Right side Porter, Powell outside. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Pass to Batum. Now here's Porter. Goes back up. And it's good on the lay-in. A flat-out bucket getter. Porter Jr. is a scorer who will hurt you all over the floor. Jackson outside. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Halliburton goes. Through the contact. Tyrese Halliburton. Halliburton with that strength that time, not going to let the defense deter him. Porter against McConnell. Pass to Leonard. over Matherin. Again, the miss by Leonard. Indiana leading by five. McConnell outside. Matherin finds Halliburton. Back to Matherin. To the left side wing. There's a screen by Toppin. Takes one from ten feet. Oh, Leonard with the block. Those long arms and big hands of Leonard helping him send that one back. Pass to Batum. It's Powell. High post. Jackson against Leonard. Oh, he sticks that one from 20 feet. Leonard's got 20. And Leonard is comfortable shouldering the offense. He knows this team looks to him to score. Jackson outside. Pass to Halliburton. All alone. Rebounded by Kawhi Leonard. Leonard's got his sixth rebound on the night. Porter against McConnell. Leonard on the wing. Fades and shoots. Matherin with a rebound. Matherin's got rebound number five here tonight. 
Here's McConnell. Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. Halliburton's got five assists in the game. And it's Porter with the ball for the L.A. Clippers. They've only given up five points here in the fourth. Takes the three. Indiana with a rebound. Now here's Halliburton. Jackson outside. Back to Halliburton. Pass to Jackson. Porter with the steal. Inside. It counts! And the foul! It's on T.J. McConnell. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was the easy. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. My goodness. Pacers have gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. To the middle. Here's Matherin. And he battles for the ball. Gets a second chance bucket. And the Pacers lead by four. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. Leonard against Siakam. The three ball. Leonard can't get it to go. For Indiana, they've gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. Siakam, pass to Matherin. Halliburton outside. Turner, a screen on Harden. Back to Turner. And then Turner with the dunk. Oh, you can't let Turner get that deep inside. When you do, he's going to abuse you with a throwdown right on top of your head. Leonard passes to Harden. Outside. Pass to Leonard. Outside Harden. The three. Yes. And it's Leonard with the assist that time. Harden's got 16 in the second half. And Harden has the ultimate green light. I mean, it's uber green, including launching from outside of the state. Now here's Turner. Inside. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. That gives him a double-double. And I'll tell you, Matherin's passing game has a solid foundation. Now, hopefully, it continues to grow here. Powell outside. Leonard with the ball. Outside Harden. Five to shoot. Over Halliburton. The Clippers again with a bucket. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. And we'll have a timeout here called by Rick Carlisle. He was quite emphatic, demanding the timeout. Clearly wanting to address strategy with his team. Jones, he's checked in for Los Angeles. The Pacers also with a sub. Neesmith, he's checked in for Matherin. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Well, over the break, I listened in on Rick Carlisle's huddle. He tried to loosen the tension a little, asking his guys, are we having fun? I know I am. Just relax out there and follow the game plan. We've got this. As always, Allie, we thank you. The Pacers again can't hit. Clippers trail by three. Jones in the post. Neesmith covering. Harden against Halliburton. Zubac, screen. To tie it up. It's rebounded by Indiana. Siakam's got eight rebounds in the game. Pass to Halliburton. Here's Nimhart. To the inside. Here's Turner. And then Turner with the dunk. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. You know, when you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Now here's Nimhart. 
Halliburton outside. Pass to Nee Smith. And here's Turner. That's basket number six in eight tries. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Leonard passes to Jones. Now, man, he's guarded by Nimhart. Down low. Siakam. And a foul oh, called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. You can see the length come into play, whether Siakam's facing up or back to the basket. That's good from Siakam. Siakam hits them both. And it's Leonard with the ball for the Clippers. Nine-point game. Clock at six. Oh! Leonard with the physical block a deft touch on the floater. Leonard's offensive arsenal continues to impress. Siakam outside. Nimhart outside. Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. And timeout called by Ty Lue. He's decided it's time to clarify the situation, leaving little room for error. Here's Leonard. They've got plenty of time to get back into this. Yeah, I'm sure they feel pressed, but this is when you have to stay calm and execute. See Occam with the defensive effort. For Indiana, they've gotten 8 of 14 shots to drop so far here in the fourth quarter. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Here's Leonard. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. Here's Halliburton. That's short off the rim. He's lost his momentum in a big hurry. Coming off an excellent quarter, now he just can't find the hook. And the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Kawhi has a subtle and quiet way of consistently keeping the pressure on. Drops the first one, and that brings him within single digits. You know, when you talk Kawhi Leonard, you start with his defense, and I don't know if there's a better wing defender around. And Leonard drops them both. 157 left to play in the fourth quarter. Harden against Halliburton to the paint. Outside Neesmith. Pass to Nimhart. Now Halliburton fires the three. Another miss by Halliburton. He's trying to force his way into a rhythm, but that's not helping the team. Leonard against Siakam. 
see Akam with the defensive effort. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Harden from outside. It's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. Leonard's got eight assists in the game. And you know the ball's going to Harden when the game's tight. Terrific at delivering and producing down the stretch. Oh, you got a guard, Halliburton, from there. And I think this hometown crowd is in shock as the visiting squad fires right back with a three of their own. Hey, guys, that shot changes the game. I mean, extending their lead and providing them a little more cushion. That's a double-edged sword there. Wow, he really fires up his team with his ability to extend possessions. And now we've got an intentional foul. James Harden. First personal foul. Third team foul. They double team Halliburton. Siakam for three. It's rebounded by Los Angeles. What a huge trip here. Absolutely. You can feel the energy in this arena. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Jones Jr. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. first one and that makes it a seven point lead so he gets them both and it's an eight point ball game 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one Siakam against Leonard it's rebounded by Pascal Siakam they can simply hold on to the ball here. No question, B.A. They deserve the win. So Indiana wins it. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. All right, let's go courtside to Ali LaForce with our player of the game. Ali, it's all yours. Pascal, these days you are called upon to carry this team. Does that bring added pressure? This is a game that I love, and, and, and I just want to have fun playing the game. And I think, you know, I got to just be myself. Like, don't get lost in, in everything going on. Be yourself. Play basketball. Have fun. And, you know, um, I'm just happy to be able to go out there and play hard. Guys, he wants the pressure. Thanks, Pascal. All right, Allie, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. And now let's take a look at our player of the game, Pascal Siakam.